When we come across some one remarkable object, we can write it off as an accident, a play of imagination. But if there are two such objects, there is already something to think about. Greetings to all thinking seekers of truth. Let me remind you that every opinion has the right to be. You can agree with it or not. However, it has the right to life. Today, I want to share new interesting discoveries. Watch the video to the end, you will definitely like it. Hi friend, you are on the Gertop channel. Demon Ravana Cosmodrome Sri Lanka has a notable Denangala mountain. It stands out for its strange shape. It has a completely flat top, looks like a stump. But this is not the most interesting thing. In the area of the mountain, strange flying objects are often noticed, for which the locals call it the Mountain of Aliens. By the way, there are such flat mountains not only in Sri Lanka, and the locals will not say anything good about them either. For example, the Devil's Tower in the USA. Denigala is known from ancient Indian epics. It is listed no more no less than the airfield or spaceport of the Demon King Ravana. It was here that his aircraft were located. The place is remarkable. The flat, white plateau at the top gives you room for takeoffs and maneuvers, but in addition to subjective evidence, convenience, the mountain hid another secret for a long time, confirming its importance for space travel. Recently, in the cave of this mountain, a scientist, a supporter of the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations Raviban Sumanaratna, found remarkable petrographs. In addition to figurines, it can be identified as animals, plants, people, notches, resembling runic symbols I made on the walls of the cave. They could be considered some kind of chaotic pattern if the same symbols were not carved on the walls in Etical Cave in the Indian state of Kerala, and this object has been known for a long time. We conclude that if this is not some kind of alphabetical system or notation system, writing, then how can identical ornaments can be applied in two different, rather distant from each other places? Aravinda Ravikan Simonaratna considers the symbols in the Etical and the Nigala caves as a lost astronomical Conan system. Could it have been used by Ravana for space flights, or was it used by representatives of some other civilizations? Have you left, so to speak, an eternal cheat sheet for your fellows? Or maybe this is the encrypted knowledge of ancient lost civilizations. Palats from Ancient Egypt The collection of the New York Metropolitan Museum has an unusual item, an art palat that dates from 1390-1352 BC and S. The item is made from a single piece of ivory. There are six holes in the palat and they contain remnants of paints that were used 3,400 years ago. This palat bears the name of Aminhotep III. In the recesses of the palat, there are still traces of paints – blue, green, yellow, red, black, and most likely brown. Experts believe that it is approximately 3,400 years old. And this is another palat from the museum's collection, also ancient Egyptian and slightly older. It belonged to the Wazir Aminimopetus of the 18th dynasty. Not all palats were used for painting, for example the palat of a scribe from the same 18th dynasty. During the 18th dynasty, art was prized in all its artistic expressions. The art of writing and calligraphy was on a special account. Good handwriting could go a long way in the diplomatic world. The largest dinosaur on the planet it is believed that this herbivorous giant could weigh over 60 tons. An international group of paleontologists has unveiled the results of studies of the bones of a giant dinosaur, which were recently found in the province of Noyquan, in northwestern Patagonia in Argentina. Research is still ongoing, but scientists have already stated that the found animal is most likely a new species from the family of sauropods, plant-eating four-legged dinosaurs that had a very long neck and tail. The found remains of the animal are not a complete skeleton and consist mainly of pelvic bones and vertebrae, which only gives a rough idea of the size of the dinosaur. It is speculated that the animal may have originated from a previously unknown population of Patagonian sauropods, and its closest relative may have been Andosaurus type of oversized titanosaur that existed in the mid-Cretaceous period in South America and reached 18 meters in length. However, fossilized bone fragments indicate that the new titanosaur was much larger than the endosaurus and most likely outnumbered Patagotian. Until now, it was the largest known dinosaur, reaching more than 31 meters in length and weighing about 60 tons. Patago Titan was first discovered by scientists only in 2014, and its remains were found in the same place as the bones of a new dinosaur. According to scientists, numerous sauropod species lived next to each other, suggesting that they had different roles in the food web. 
mysterious artifacts at the ancient Inca cemetery. In the central part of Ecuador, during work to create an artificial reservoir for local residents, human remains were found. Experts believe they date back to around 1450-1540, when the Incas transitioned from late culture to early Spanish colonialism. A total of 12 skeletons were found, both adults and children. All of them are badly damaged and the teeth are the best preserved. Esteban Acosta, the archaeologist in charge of the excavation at the site, hopes the genetic and morphological analysis of the teeth will help determine if the people found in the Inca cemetery belong to the same family. Among the finds were several items that raised questions from scientists. A pair of antique Inca pottery stands out from the rest by the symbols with which they are adorned. Acosta's team found on them a Christian cross and a pattern resembling the letter W. According to archaeologists, such an ornament has not yet been found on Inca objects, so the pottery may be from the colonial period. Another artifact that has attracted close attention of scientists is a ring found next to one of the skeletons. Archaeologists have not been able to identify the material from which it was made. According to Acosta, it is not copper and is made of some kind of rare metal. The ring was sent for examination. Remains of ancient sheep on the beach Several Victorian-era shipwrecks have appeared in Cornwall, England. After several winter storms that hit the UK and European countries in December 2020 and January 2021, the remains of mysterious Victorian ships appeared on the coast of the British county of Cornwall. Due to the rocky coastline and frequent storms, the area has seen many shipwrecks in the past. Parts of ships and various artifacts were regularly washed up on local beaches, but local residents will not remember the wreckage that appeared on the beach in January. It is reported that such finds have not been made here for several decades. The mysterious Victorian ship date back to around 1800. Their exact origin is unknown, but it is believed that these are the remains of either the French Brigentine Providence, which was wrecked in a storm in October 1865, or the German Brigentine Albert Wilhelm, which hit the reef and sank in October 1886. Shark fossil 150 million years old Experts from the University of Vienna have discovered a remarkably well-preserved skeleton of an ancient shark, Astyracanthus, in the Solnhofen limestone in Bavaria. The famous deposit was formed among tropical and subtropical lagoons in the late Jurassic era about 150 million years ago. Almost the entire skeleton shows that the Astyracan was 8 feet in length, approximately 2.5 meters, making it one of the largest sharks of its time. The maximum recorded length is 10 feet. The skeleton contains over 150 teeth, from which lead researcher Sebastian Stamm concluded that this appears to have been one of the most impressive sharks of its period. Due to the fact that the teeth of cartilaginous fish continue to change throughout life, they are the ones most often found by paleontologists compared to other vertebrate fossils. However, the low potential for preservation of their skeletons prevents the whole specimen from fossilizing. This is what makes the find so rare. Special conditions are needed to preserve the fossilized skeleton of a shark or stingray, and the Solnhof and limestone provides a suitable environment for them. Over the past 150 years, excavations have already found a small feathered dinosaur, Archaeopteryx, and numerous skeletons of sharks and rays. Ancient Giant Bridge this gigantic structure in Spain, not far from Tarragona, strikes no less than the ancient Roman amphitheater on the seashore. Live, it looks even more powerful than in the photo. It is believed that this Las Ferreras aqueduct was built in the 1st century BC by Satan himself. The people call it the Devil's Bridge. The stone blocks are laid in two level arches with a height of 27 meters without mortar or any fixation. According to legend, people tried to build the aqueduct themselves, but to no avail. It was destroyed by strong wind and water flow. Ancient engineers shouted in their hearts that even the devil would not be able to complete the work on the bridge in a thousand years. After the spoken words, Satan appeared and offered a deal. He would build a bridge in just one night and in exchange, he would take the soul of the first inhabitant of Tarragona. 
would walk across the bridge and take a sip of water. People accepted the offer. Satan has fulfilled his part of the contract expecting to receive a soul. The inhabitants acted more cunningly. They left an ordinary donkey cross the bridge first. The Devil's Bridge was part of a grand plumbing system that supplied water to the ancient city of Taraka from the Francoli River. Even if you do not take into account that only this small 217-meter piece has survived to this day, and you cannot see much with your eyes, but you can only imagine it is still breathtaking. In 2000, UNESCO declared the bridge a cultural heritage of mankind. For me to scroll Book of the Dead in Saqqara, next to the pyramid of Pharaoh Teddy, the first pharaoh of the 6th dynasty, archaeologists have found the burial temple of his wife, Queen Nara. On the southeast side of the temple, there are three mud brick annexes that contain offerings to the queen and her husband. Also, next to the pyramid of Teddy, were found three shaft tombs with the remains of people who lived during the 18th and 19th Egyptian dynasties. Most likely, the tombs were created by a cult that formed after the death of Ant. Apparently, the cult lasted more than a millennium since people wanted to be buried next to the pyramid of the pharaoh. At the moment, archaeologists have taken out more than 50 wooden coffins and various artifacts from the mine tombs. The most curious artifact turned out to be a 4-meter papyrus, with 17th chapter of the Book of the Dead is a manuscript instruction for preparing and sending the deceased to their afterlife. The scroll even has the owner's name, Bukov. The archaeologists found the same name on one of the wooden coffins and on four Ashapti, statues that the ancient Egyptians placed in the graves of the deceased. The analysis of the text has not yet been completed, but other copies of chapter 17 found contain a list of questions and answers, something like a cheat sheet for those who walk through the afterlife. Subscribe to the channel if you liked the video and tell your friends about it. Thanks for your views, bye everyone!